This video is brought to you by our online store, A Cup of Our Studio. Link down below where you can buy digital goods. We appreciate any and all support. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to our channel. This channel is run by two sisters, so I'm going to be your host today's star. And for today's video, I am starting a new sketchbook, so how fun. Um, yeah, uh, I'll explain a little bit why later why I'm, why I'm starting a new sketchbook, but let's get into the video first um so this is the sketchbook in question it's actually it's actually just a blank um journal a blank notebook but the one on the left is the bullet journal that i originally had i mean i i'm still using it. i still have it and i really quite like it it's just a dotted notebook i really like the page and i really like the fact that a lot of markers or not a lot i don't use too much but the markers that i do use the Halo Super Tips, the Tamit markers, uh, micro, Micron pens, and just regular pens and pencils. I, I like how it is, like, I like how it works with the paper and in this notebook. And also, I like the fact that there isn't any bleed through or ghosting when I use my bullet journal. I'll show an example here. Um, but this this particular spread that I'm, I'm showing you, I think was primarily done with all Crayola Super Tips. But I also use Tamit markers. Um, and yeah, you don't see ghosting, there is no bleed through, and so I wanted to go back to the same brand and also get a smaller sketchbook for the times where I need to go out and I want to bring my sketchbook, but I don't want to bring my really huge sketchbook. Um, my sketchbook is really, really, really big, and anytime I do want to bring it, like if I'm going on a picnic or something, or, you know, even to school, like I'm kind of forced to use a big bag to actually carry the really big and tall sketchbook so i thought maybe having something smaller will allow me to bring a smaller bag and also just bring like a pencil pouch with all the supplies that i need and it would be totally fine um so that was the point of getting this sketchbook because i knew that or you know buying it from this certain brand because i knew that it worked with my markers and i wouldn't have any issue with ghosting and bleed through spoiler alert um my thought process did not execute well and this paper and this book is totally different than the bullet journal that I previously um, own. Oh my god, it's so soft. What the heck? Why? What the heck? This just feels like regular plain paper. But this? What in the world? It's so smooth and so soft. Wow. Okay, quality. Let's see how how that might affect how I draw. So yeah, the paper is absolutely so smooth and so soft and that should have been a giveaway to me that this probably won't work with my usual supplies. Um but regardless of that, the first two papers are like um kind of glued together and so i kind of skipped that page and i used the first two double spread papers as my like first page of my sketchbook and then i skipped that page to do the swatches and then the page after is where i actually do the marker stuff um i'm gonna go back to the first page in a later date maybe when i finish my actual sketchbook and i use this one as my next sketchbook to finish it up i'll probably do the first page done in there i just didn't want this like food marker illustration to be that first page because it's not something that would inspire me um yeah so yeah i don't know we have that um i'm gonna wrap this up because i kind of want the video and like the asmr-ness of it to kind of speak for itself but essentially i just watched um these prismacolor col coal erase marker uh pencils yeah they're just like um erasable color pencils and i really wanted to try them out and i wanted to try it out in this new sketchbook because of like how smooth and soft it was i'm gonna swatch them in my regular sketchbook to see how they work with more of a rougher tougher paper but i really quite like how these worked and then i swatched most of my markers that i knew that i was going to be using for this illustration plus some like extra stuff that i had lying around and maybe another time i'll swatch paint like my wa my gouache or watercolor to kind of see how th those work but i doubt that if the alcohol markers did so well the paints probably won't do so well um as well especially the watercolor where i tend to add a lot more water um than if i was working with gouache but well that's for another day and we'll see if that if this paper holds up 
Um, it's on the same brand, so I thought the paper would be the same, but it's not, unfortunately. But I don't think that it's a bad thing because I do quite like, at the end of the day, how the illustration turned turned out. Um, I did two different illustrations, both from Pinterest, food illustrations, because the night before I was doing food stuff in my sketchbook. I really liked how it worked, and I really liked that I was getting a good routine down with working with marker. And so I wanted to try it on the smoother paper, and I think that it worked really well as well. Is this? Are these? Oh, these are tabs. Oh, huh. okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I want to preface this like video by saying that there was a thunderstorm going on so a lot of like the light was going in and out so unfortunately there is a cast of shadow on the artwork but I do think it's still pretty clear to kind of see what I'm doing and by the end of it all I do bring like the book closer so you can get a little bit close up in those details. Um, here's what I did in my sketchbook so you saw it a second ago and that's what inspired me to do like, these two pieces here um any of the supplies that i use like the color pencil the the notebooks um the bullet journal um what else the tamit markers the crayola super tips the arteza markers i'll have most of the supplies if i remember to link them down below i won't link all the supplies like what i also use for the swatches but for the primarily like portion of the artwork i'll link those supplies down below if you're curious and you want to go check it out um, but with that said, I hope you guys like the rest of the video. I'm going to sign off here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and if there's anything that I missed with this voiceover, I'll be sure to add any extra information down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. It definitely means a lot. And then I'll see you in another video. Uh, have an amazing day. Stay safe. Stay cool. And peace. Bye, guys.